Welcome back. In this lecture, we will understand the working of append and append to methods. So you have already worked with these two methods. So in this lecture, I am going to explain the difference between these two. And one important point is the functionality or the purpose of these two functions are exactly same. The only difference is in the way of writing these functions, right? So you can say that sy syntax is different, but the purpose is exactly same. So now let me uh, show you some examples so, uh, so that you can understand the concepts in a better way. So first I'm going to remove this div tag. So at line number 36 and line number 37, we do not need it anymore. And I'm going to use my unordered list where the ID is countries. So I will use this unordered list uh, to make you understand the concept of append and append to methods. First of all, I am going to uh, give you an example of append method. So I am saying that I want unordered list where the ID is countries and I want to append a new item in this unordered list and that new item is let's say Canada, right? and that's all right so i am saying that i want to append canada this new item into a unordered list where the id is countries and when you append an item that item will always go to the bottom so this item is going to uh, store after the item australia at this point right so let's save it and execute your code so let me yeah now let me click on the make changes and see i got a uh, canada at the bottom so that is the purpose of append function and let me uh, explain the append to method so in in this case i'm going to copy this html or you can say i'm going to cut this one and I'm going to write it here and then I'm going to cut this one right and I'm going to paste it here and here I'm going to write append to see that is exactly same thing we are saying that I want to add this new item uh, into an ordered list where the ID is countries right the only difference is in the way of writing the code Okay, the purpose of both these functions are exactly same, right? So let me save this and go back, refresh your page. Now if I click on the make changes, see I got the same result. The append to function is also going to add the item, a newly added item at the bottom, right? The only difference is in the syntax or the way of writing the code. So that's all about append and append to.